Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about how to compose music in GarageBand. Now, I am using GarageBand at the moment. This is my door. This is how I write electronic music. So what we'll do, we'll open an empty project and we'll go choose. And we'll go to the first option, plug in a USB MIDI keyboard to play, record using a wide variety of instruments, piano, organ and synth. So you can use this option to plug in a MIDI keyboard, but I will be using my keyboard on my computer. As you can see, this little option here. And you can play with it. Okay. So as I, as I press... That will be the sound that you're going to get. So let's choose a basic synth sound. Let's do this. Okay, so I found a uh, synth sound that I like. And if I like it, I will hit the record so one option you can have is the metronome turned on usually when i'm writing electronic music i don't have the metronome on i just find for me it's a distraction i like to have the counting turned off as well other options you can play with is your beats and your time so we've done 15 seconds So this is your time. I, I like to. This is this is like a guide for me. So if I want to say make the track five minutes long or three minutes, I will keep this running. And I'm always making sure it's it's flowing and it's moving at the same time. So let's continue to that. So I like to experiment with different octaves as well. So if I want to go low, I can do that. If I want even lower, you might not even hear that. Sometimes if I'm going very high in the mix, I like to use dynamics as a skill. So that would be piercing. And basically, the way I, I treat electronic music is I treat it like I'm writing a score f for a conductor. So I'm always making sure, you know, if this is going for a film, television or movie, I'm making sure that it's fitting the scene and it fits the picture. So I'll leave it there for this short little how to compose music in GarageBand. If you like the channel, if you like the video, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, turn on the bell notification, subscribe to it, share it on social media, ask me questions in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Bye.